Oh no, something bad has just happened to the whole Shiba Inu ecosystem. People are selling off their Shiba bags, but what is going on exactly? Let me explain. Disclaimer. In what could be a significant shakeup for the Shiba community, Shiba Burn, the well-known burn tracker, has come forth with a flurry of allegations against the Shiba Inu project's leadership. The detailed accusations touch on a variety of issues from historical revisionism to financial impropriety, and even extend to the governance and ethical standing of the project's core team. Let's start with the very beginning. Shiba Inu is a cryptocurrency that was created relatively recently. It was launched in August 2020 by an anonymous person or group of people using the pseudonym Ryoshi. The Shiba Inu token is named after the Shiba Inu dog breed, which is also the same breed featured as the logo. The vision of Shiba Inu was firstly influenced by the broader category of meme tokens, which often gain popularity through internet memes and online communities. The creators of Shiba Inu positioned it as an experiment in decentralized community building. The project gained attention for its unique and playful marketing approach, leveraging the Shiba Inu meme and associating it with terms like woof paper instead of a white paper. Shiba Inu's ecosystem includes multiple tokens, with Shiba being the primary token. Other tokens include Leash and Bone. Each token has its own use case within the Shiba Inu ecosystem. At first, Shiba was designed to be a community-driven token. Leash was positioned as a store of value, and Bone was meant to be a governance token. This is what Shiba Inu coin was about in the very beginning. A year after launch of Shiba Inu, the developers team started moving away from the meme token classification by launching their own decentralized exchange, ShibaSwap. Imagine ShibaSwap as a decentralized farmer's market for cryptocurrencies. In this analogy, each type of fruit or vegetable represents a different cryptocurrency or token. The farmer's market operates without a central authority, much like a decentralized exchange. Now picture that you're a vendor at this farmer's market and you have a variety of fruits and vegetables. ShibaSwap is the space where you can trade your apples for someone else's oranges directly without needing a market manager or intermediary. The market prices are determined by the community of buyers and sellers. ShibaSwap also introduces the concept of providing liquidity, which is akin to farmers contributing a portion of their produce to a shared community stall. In return for providing liquidity, farmers receive a portion of the overall profits made at the shared stall. However, participating in this farmer's market comes with some risks. Just like the value of fruits and vegetables can change based on supply and demand, the value of cryptocurrencies can be volatile. Users should be aware of the potential risks before engaging in trades or providing liquidity on ShibaSwap. In summary, ShibaSwap is like a decentralized farmer's market for cryptocurrencies, where users can trade different tokens directly with each other and contribute to shared stalls to earn a share of the profits similar to farmers trading produce and contributing to a community market. ShibaSwap was a very successful project in the crypto space, surpassing $1 billion total value locked just 24 hours after launch. Isn't that crazy? But why do people believe in Shiba Inu in the first place? Even before ShibaSwap, what unique idea it had behind that made people start investing into a project that is nothing more than a meme coin? Let me explain. Since the Shiba Inu supply is limited, the primary focus has been centered around a strategic token burning mechanism aimed at reducing the overall supply. By implementing deliberate and permanent removals of Shiba tokens from circulation, the project aims to create scarcity. The underlying idea is that a decreased supply, when demand remains constant or increases, could potentially lead to an increase in the value of each remaining token. This focus on token burning aligns with a broader goal to positively impact the economics of the Shiba token and influence its market dynamics. Before the launch of ShibaSwap, individuals already had the ability to burn tokens on their own, and this process involves a deliberate and permanent removal of cryptocurrency tokens from circulation. A simple explanation of how token burning typically works. Number 1. Send tokens to a burn address. Token holders voluntarily send their tokens to a specific burn address. This address is usually an address that is verifiably unspendable or inaccessible, meaning the tokens sent there cannot be retrieved. Number 2. Transaction Verification 
the blockchain network registers and verifies the transaction, permanently recording the reduction in the total token supply. Number 3. Irreversible Process Once tokens are sent to the burn address, the process is irreversible. Those tokens are effectively taken out of circulation, reducing the overall supply. With the launch of Shiba Swap, this burning process was streamlined and provided additional benefits to participants. Shiba Swap introduced liquidity pools, where users could stake their tokens to provide liquidity for the decentralized exchange. In return, participants received rewards, including a portion of the transaction fees generated on the platform. This mechanism not only facilitated token burning, but also allowed users to earn rewards for contributing to the liquidity of the Shiba Swap ecosystem. So, in essence, while individuals could always burn tokens on their own, the introduction of Shiba Swap made the process more structured and provided users with additional incentives through liquidity provision and rewards. This helped create a more dynamic and participatory environment within the Shiba Inu ecosystem. A turning point for Shiba Inu was when its original founder, Ryoshi, abandoned the Shiba Inu project. Ryoshi, the enigmatic founder of Shiba Inu, all of a sudden departed by erasing all his posts, maintaining a perfect veil of anonymity reminiscent of Satoshi Nakamoto. Ryoshi's hidden identity has been a key feature since the token's inception in 2020, with no one having knowledge of his appearance to date. The hands-off approach embraced by Ryoshi and his team of developers has been instrumental in preserving this mystery. Despite Ryoshi's departure, other developers, particularly Shitoshi Kusama, have reassured users that the project remains in capable hands. During that time, Shitoshi Kusama became a lead developer and emphasized the team's commitment to realizing Ryoshi's vision for the project. The project is steadfast in its dedication to building a substantial community of decentralized meme coins. Over the years, Ryoshi consistently downplayed his importance and that of others in the project, asserting their replaceability. In a prior Medium post, Ryoshi minimized his role, stating that he merely sat behind his computer, tapping buttons on his keyboard. Ryoshi's Twitter account is still active, with the former Shiba leader posting two final blog posts bidding farewell. Notably, all tweets on the account have been deleted. Social media users across platforms have varied reactions to these recent events. Some express awe at Ryoshi's departure, while others speculate on potential criminal motivations, especially as associated accounts have been deleted. One tweet from the account discussed the potential impact of an army supporting the project, while another highlighted that everyone represents Ryoshi. Despite calls from investors, Kusama released a post praising Ryoshi and bidding him farewell as he exits the project. Kusama emphasized that Ryoshi's anonymity had no negative impact on the project and reflected on the achievements they accomplished together, notably reshaping perceptions of meme tokens. Then, after another year of hard work, Shiba Inu launched their own blockchain, Shibarium. Shibarium is a Layer 2 blockchain developed as a significant initiative within the Shiba Inu token ecosystem. As a Layer 2 solution, Shibarium is designed to seamlessly interact with the primary Ethereum blockchain, Layer 1, addressing critical issues such as scalability and transaction costs. In essence, Shibarium serves as an innovative approach to enhance the efficiency of the Shiba Inu ecosystem by acting as a layer built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. The goal is to offer a more scalable and cost-effective transaction platform, tackling challenges like high gas fees and slow transaction times. The key objectives and potential benefits of Shibarium for the Shiba Inu ecosystem include enhanced transaction efficiency, reduced transaction costs, token utility enhancement, decentralized applications creation, and being a community-driven initiative that prioritizes user experience, focusing on providing optimized transaction speed cost efficiency, and scalability. In summary, Shibarium is positioned as a pivotal development within the Shiba Inu ecosystem, aiming to overcome scalability and cost challenges associated with the Ethereum network. Its implementation is expected to bring about improvements in transaction efficiency, cost effectiveness, and the overall utility of tokens within the Shiba Inu ecosystem. Well, this was a brief history of Shiba Inu coin. But what if I tell you that all of this is fake and was just a facade? As I've mentioned above, the primary focus has been centered around a strategic token burning mechanism aimed at reducing the overall supply.
And this was the time when one of Shiba Inu's fan came up with a genius idea called Shiba Burn Platform. Shiba Burn, the burn project exclusively designed for the Shiba community, has undergone exciting updates to enhance user experience. The project launched on June 1, 2021, Shiba Burn gained prominence after being inspired by Vitalik Buterin's monumental burn. With Shaitoshi Kusuma acknowledging the work, Shiba Burn quickly became a focal point in the community, attracting over 20k followers within days and even featuring in Fortune magazine. By December 2021, the website had welcomed over 1 million visitors. The website offers enhanced interactivity, allowing users to witness burns in real time on the main page. There's also a Twitter page which says, Shiba Burn Tracker. Transactions and calculations tweeted are automated. Visit the website for burn addresses, plus the total number of burns. Everything went smoothly when all of a sudden, something unexpected happened. Just yesterday, Shiba Burn, the well-known burn tracker, has come forth with a flurry of allegations against the Shiba Inu project's leadership. The detailed accusations touch on a variety of issues from historical revisionism to financial impropriety, and even extend to the governance and ethical standing of the project's core team. The tweet states, Shiba Burn was the first actual project to launch for Shiba Inu a month and two weeks before Shiba Swap. Why are they saying that the Shiba evolution started with a sushi swap fork? Perhaps they think their projects are the only ones that matters. Sorry, but you don't get to ignore that part of Shiba Inu's history. They didn't like the attention we gained before and tried to stop us around the end of August 21 by running a campaign against us that said no to burns, where many started calling us scammers and all sort of names, but they dare talk about FUD. That's interesting. Over this weekend, Shitoshi Kusama left a message on their official Telegram group chat. Let's pause. First up, we don't discriminate for any reason. Coordinated FUD period is unacceptable, and we are pushing hard as we can in all regards as we have made clear. There are two ways everyone can deal with things. Number one, FUD more, even though we are literally building the system asterisk and testing it asterisk as we go. Number two, Work on making things better through decentralized work that we get to highlight in the magazine itself. In short, for a variety of reasons, I've asked all FUD to be eliminated to keep this space clean, and I will ask the mods to double down on this. That's all I have to say. Looks like this message was directed to Shiba Burn devs. We've been nothing but positive in this space. I don't take sides, and I have always been focused on what we originally came here for, Shiba. When I see something wrong, I call it out. In case you're wondering why Shitoshi even took the time to address FUD, yet again, it's because of us. You may remember how we called out for the truth. Well, Shitoshi felt offended and quickly blocked us, then quickly announced the FUD piece. See, Shitoshi tends to hide from the truth a lot. It's why they want anyone who calls them out, the FUDders, eliminated. Shitoshi knew they would get properly exposed and wanted to make sure everyone turn a blind eye when it happens and dismiss it as... Well, you guessed it. FUD. Everyone knows I'm a huge supporter of Shiba. The fact that they attacked us and lied for speaking out should say a lot. After reading all the misinformation they are spreading, I have no choice but to answer. Call this hashtag ShibFiles. I don't think I would be posting again on this account after today. We'll keep the site up and the bot running. I do hope that people stand up instead of letting them take over. Shiba Inu is for the people. If you see them trying to link it to anything else, call them out. That's such a huge and unexpected message from a true Shiba Inu supporter. But there's much more to this situation. Let's dig further. For over a year, people have been messaging us asking for their rewards on the burn portal. You've seen some of them replying to our posts. We get messages asking us why they get blocked for questioning it. We also have messages from people that are fed up and others who are threatening us simply because they think we're the Shiba Burn portal they created. One email we have is from a depressed holder that had depressed thoughts, who begged us for three days straight since he burnt over $5,000 of his own money, believing in that team's promises of passive income. We had to calm him down. Notice how I always had disclaimers and never suggested that anyone burn their own money. They were encouraging it. This is something they still have on their site and is now useless, something they are responsible for. 
but had the audacity to mention a $2 million insurance after the botched Shibarium launch. Once everyone starts opening their eyes, then you'll see why we chose to speak up. I'm doing this on behalf of all those holders that have reached out, those who were misguided, encouraged by this team to burn their own money. Over 2,200 people spent over $670,000 on that portal, but only a handful of people received some rewards for just that first round. This is just one of the reasons people have called them out. Notice how they want you to ignore what anyone says and tell you that all they want to do is create fear to get people to sell and buy the dip. Well, I never suggested anyone to sell. I didn't create Sheba Burn to instill fear in people. So are you going to label me a fudder as well? The truth does not equate to FUD. It seems there are communication issues between Shiba Inu Burn Tracker and users who are seeking rewards on the burn portal. If users are being blocked or facing difficulties in receiving information, it reflects a breakdown in communication, which can lead to frustration and concerns. The mention of a depressed holder with depressive thoughts is concerning. It underscores the importance of responsible communication in the crypto space. Encouraging community members to invest or burn tokens should come with clear disclaimers and a deep understanding of the potential emotional impact on users. If the platform believes that another project is encouraging users to burn money without proper disclaimers or responsibility, it's essential to address such concerns responsibly. However, it's also important to note that individuals have personal responsibility for their financial decisions. The claim of misguidance and encouragement to burn money without adequate rewards raises ethical concerns. Projects in the crypto space should prioritize transparency and provide accurate information to users. The mention of fear, selling and labeling as a fudder, someone spreading fear, uncertainty and doubt, suggests a broader issue within the community. Labeling individuals who raise concerns as fudders is counterproductive to open dialogue and addressing legitimate concerns. The distinction between truth and spreading fear, uncertainty and doubt is crucial. Honest communication and highlighting genuine issues within a project should be differentiated from spreading baseless fear for manipulative purposes. A month ago, ironically, they were the ones spreading FUD about us, right after we exposed the truth about Ryoshi. It needed to be said, especially when people claimed that we're not part of Shiba Army, because we didn't support his vision. This time, they resorted to blatant lies about us, accusing us of spreading false narratives, all while sharing actual misinformation on wallets created by the founders afterward, without mentioning the initial wallets we were talking about. It's concerning to witness how many people quickly place their trust and believe everything they're told without skepticism, or how some blogs quickly sided with them and dismissed the post as debunked simply because the official team said so, despite the original source providing a clear explanation. Did they not comprehend the post or understand how the tracking tool works? Much of this went unnoticed, but some people labeled us as fake news. Previously, they labeled us as toxic just for stating that they're not the official Shiba team. They'll say the more the merrier they'll preach unity while attacking us in the same post is a facade. We posted a demo of the Shiba blockchain we're working on, and the result was a surge in discussions about Shiba Inu a day later. Now, Shitoshi says that Shiba Inu can be useful and quickly puts the name Shiba Wallet out there after noticing that we were working on a wallet from that demo. So now, all of a sudden they care? The tweet outlines a history of conflict, with accusations of spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt against each other. Such conflicts can be detrimental to community cohesion and trust. The mention of exposing the truth about Ryoshi and accusing the other party of blatant lies indicates a clash over what is considered truthful information. The community's ability to discern accurate information becomes crucial in such situations. The tweet expresses concern about how quickly people place trust and believe information without skepticism. This highlights the importance of critical thinking within the crypto community and the potential impact of misinformation. The reference to some blogs siding with the official team and dismissing the post as debunked raises questions about how external validation from official sources can influence community perception, even if the original source provides a clear explanation. The mention of preaching unity while attacking in the same post suggests a potential contradiction in messaging. 
Such inconsistencies can contribute to confusion within the community. The tweet touches on the timing of statements about the utility of Shiba Inu and the introduction of Shiba Wallet after the demonstration of the Shiba blockchain. This raises questions about the motives and timing of such announcements. I learned about Ryoshi after Shiba Swap. They contradicted themselves many times, claiming to not own any Shiba and to have never owned any. Ryoshi's words. Like Ryoshi, you must be a billionaire now, haha. Huh? But the reality is still to this day, I own zero Shiba Inu coin. Why? Well, if I did, then I can't be who I am. And for now, I know that I have a role to play. I can't be pure and unbiased if I'm worried about prices going up and down and taking profits. Don't worry, the great Shiba will reward me in other ways, I guess. And now we find out that Ryoshi, the original founder, owns over 1 billion USD and moved them into separate wallets in order to hide their tracks. Thanks to the tools offered by Bubble Maps, we're able to see that. That's just for the wallets we're aware of. Just know that over 103 trillion Shiba Inu could be burnt right now, but they won't do such a thing since they don't want you to know it's them. As soon as they were exposed by Bubble Maps, they tried to hide their tracks yet again. I knew Ryoshi was a made-up character, created by a group of greedy investors looking to profit off this community, therefore created a story looking for more ways to cash in using the Shiba name and use Shiba Inu coin as their golden goose in order to promote anything they can to enrich themselves with. Recent reports suggest that Ryoshi, the purported anonymous founder of Shiba Inu, may own an astonishing $1 billion worth of Shiba tokens. These revelations have sparked doubt and raised concerns within the Shiba Inu community about the accuracy of information circulating. To address the growing confusion and conflicting narratives, Shiba Burn, a community-operated burn tracker for Shiba Inu, released a comprehensive statement. The primary goal was to bring clarity to the situation and specifically address rumors surrounding Ryoshi's substantial Shiba holdings. One of the most surprising statements in Shiba Burn's release is the claim that Ryoshi potentially holds over 1 billion US dollars in Shiba Inu tokens, representing more than 10% of the total supply. This contradicts the prior understanding that Ryoshi had no Shiba Inu holdings, leading to a significant shift in community perspectives. The controversy originated from historical data provided by Bubble Maps, an on-chain analytical platform. In January, Bubble Maps suggested that wallets associated with Ryoshi controlled a significant portion of the Shiba Inu supply, accumulating tokens since August 2020. Notably, the original wallet amassed 103 trillion Shiba Inu tokens with an initial investment of 38 Ethereum, equivalent to $10,000 at the time. As Shiba Inu's market capitalization reached $40 billion in 2021, assets from the original wallet were distributed among smaller wallets, which have remained inactive. Bubble Maps tracked these wallets, noting attempts to disperse funds into smaller wallets, raising concerns about transparency within the project. Despite facing allegations, Ryoshi has refrained from confirming or denying them. In contrast, a Shiba Inu marketing specialist named Lucy has rejected the claims, deeming them inaccurate. Lucy argues that the wallets in question are not owned by Ryoshi, but were created in response to Shiba Inu's surge in value in 2021. The controversy surrounding Shiba ownership has led to a division within investors and the wider cryptocurrency community. Some believe that the disclosure was unnecessary since the implicated wallet had not engaged in any token sales, raising concerns mainly about the potential attraction of hackers. On the contrary, others emphasize the importance of transparency in the cryptocurrency space and are advocating for a thorough investigation to uncover the truth. Amidst these tumultuous developments, the Shiba Inu community recognizes the growing importance of transparency and effective communication within the project. Collaborating with Shiba Burn, the community remains committed to promoting greater clarity and accountability, aiming to uphold the trust of its investors and stakeholders. Many of us who invested in Shiba Inu didn't know who they were. When I started this project, I didn't know who these people were. We were basically starting a burn community for Shiba Inu. I only heard about some dev working on an exchange. Later, I discovered that Shaitoshi was not even a real dev, and that Shiba Swap is just a sushi swap fork with no actual changes to it. 
they gave themselves a large amount of bone for that hard work. In case you're wondering why Shaitoshi chose it for a gas token. The tweet suggests that many investors in Shiba Inu, including the author of the tweet, were initially unaware of the identities behind the project. This lack of transparency about the team members raises questions about the project's governance and accountability. The tweet claims that the founder, Shitoshi, was later found not to be a real developer. This raises concerns about the authenticity of the team and their qualifications, which is crucial for the success and trustworthiness of any blockchain project. The tweet alleges that ShibaSwap is essentially a fork of SushiSwap with no actual changes. This raises concerns about the originality and innovation of the ShibaSwap platform, as projects are generally expected to bring unique features or improvements. The tweet mentions that the team gave themselves a significant amount of bone tokens as a reward for their work on ShibaSwap. This can be perceived as a lack of transparency and fairness, as it raises questions about the distribution of tokens and potential conflicts of interest. The tweet raises a question about why Shitoshi chose bone as a gas token. The implication is that there might be motivations other than technical suitability for selecting Bone as the gas token for transactions on Shibarium. This may be the reason why they don't show you Shibarium source, because no actual work was done to their polygon fork. Shitoshi not only lied to us about Shibarium, but also how the Shiboshi funds were going to be used. Saying it required tens of thousands of dollars. Shitoshi words. We would never integrate polygon, when we are building our own. Do you understand how much of a smack in the face it would be to our devs? So where did all the funds go if it was just a fork? The tweet suggests that the lack of visibility into the Shibarium source code might be because no actual work was done on their Polygon fork. This raises concerns about transparency and the authenticity of the work done on Shibarium. The tweet accuses Shitoshi, the founder, of lying about Shibarium and how the funds for Shiboshi were going to be used. This is a serious allegation that, if true, could undermine trust in the project and its leadership. The tweet quotes Shitoshi's previous statement about not integrating Polygon when building their own blockchain. The apparent contradiction in integrating Polygon, despite the earlier statement, raises questions about the consistency and clarity of the project's communications. The tweet raises a question about where the funds for Shiboshi went if Shibarium was just a fork. The implication is that the allocated funds might not have been used as initially communicated, leading to concerns about financial transparency and accountability. What I'm witnessing with this ecosystem team is completely absurd. Also, the things they're feeding to holders about Shibi Zens, Shiba State, or the vision, and claiming that Shitoshi is our leader, it's also mind boggling. And now they're saying that the Shiba ecosystem is being targeted by a coordinated FUD attack? Sure, because any question you have or evidence of their wrongdoings is always dismissed as FUD. They push hard so that you can look the other way. They are now asking for your trust on this Shiba state they're building where you need to abide by their rules. It seems like Shitoshi has established an indoctrination center for a cult. Many have lost their way. The tweet begins by describing the actions of the ecosystem team as completely absurd. This suggests a perception of unconventional or questionable behavior on the part of the team. The tweet criticizes the concepts of Shibi Zens, Shiba State, and the claim that Shitoshi is our leader. The term mind-boggling implies a sense of disbelief or confusion regarding these elements of the project's vision and leadership. The tweet accuses the team of dismissing any questions or evidence of wrongdoing as FUD. This suggests a lack of openness to criticism or skepticism, potentially raising concerns about transparency. The tweet notes that the team is asking for trust in the Shiba state they are building, where followers are expected to abide by their rules. The use of the term indoctrination center for a cult implies a negative perception of the team's efforts to garner trust and establish a community structure. The tweet concludes with the suggestion that Shitoshi has established an indoctrination center for a cult implying a perception of the project having cult-like characteristics and expressing concern that many have lost their way. At Shiba Inu, at Shiba, the Shiba team, the official Shiba Inu team, Shibarium is the Shiba blockchain?
Did they all huddle up two weeks ago in a meeting and decide, from now on, we all say this? Just an example of the direction they're going with. It's clear that their mission was always to hijack the Shiba name to get as many holders into their centralized ecosystem where they can continue to milk the Shiba Inu community. The magazine was created to further mislead the community and associate Shiba with their own projects, including tokens which they are presenting to you as official partners for Shiba, which are not. They refer everyone else to a third party as if they have a saying in Shiba. Does that sound like a decentralized community to you? To state that the entire community is pushing to list X and Y, and that the ecosystem is backed by the Shiba army to link all their projects to Shiba? Whoever they are, they do not speak for the entire Shiba Inu community. 800 or even 2,000 Shitoshi fans voting on a poll from a pro Shitoshi account do not speak for a community of over a million especially when a large percent of them have been misled. There are many holders that have never even heard of them or have a X account. Stop giving them that power. The tweet questions the consistent use of specific terms like at Shiba Inu or the Shiba team, suggesting a potential coordinated effort to present a unified message. The tone implies skepticism about whether this was a deliberate decision in a recent meeting. The tweet suggests that the team's mission was always to hijack the Shiba name to attract holders into their centralized ecosystem. This implies a perception that the team's actions may not align with the decentralized and community-driven ethos often associated with blockchain projects. The tweet accuses the team of creating a magazine to mislead the community and associate Shiba with their own projects, presenting them as official partners when they are not. This raises concerns about transparency and the intention behind the team's promotional efforts. The tweet criticizes the team for referring to others as a third party, as if they have a say in Shiba. The implication is that this goes against the principles of a decentralized community, where decision-making should involve the broader community rather than a select group. The tweet disputes the claim that the entire community is pushing for certain listings or projects, asserting that a smaller subset, potentially aligned with Shitoshi fans, doesn't represent the entire Shiba Inu community. This raises concerns about the accuracy of community representation and decision-making. The tweet concludes with a call to stop giving the team power, suggesting a desire for a more decentralized and community-driven approach rather than centralized control. They speak of positivity, unity, and their desire to help, aiming to project an image of legitimacy. Yet, behind closed doors, their actions tell a different story. They resort to name-calling and labeling those they disagree with as scammers. They even go as far as insulting other members, especially when payments aren't as expected and demand more. Isn't that right, Shitoshi? Imagine a community introducing a dot .shiba name service, where that team got excited and shared it, then later deleting them simply because they thought it was a good way to profit from. So they get someone to do it instead of supporting the first initiative, rushing to create their own just to claim it as official. Same with a news website that already exists for Shiba Army. We recently provided a quick demo of the Shiba blockchain we're working on, which revealed a Shiba wallet. The very next day, they started promoting the name Shiba Wallet in an attempt to assert that they were the first to suggest it, and also warning everyone about a project with the same name that had been around for over a year. Pay attention to how they will spin this and say we're fudding or spreading negativity. This is not an attack on Shiba, so let's make that clear. This is standing up for what's right on behalf of all the Shiba holders that have been lied to, misled, blocked for no reason, and insulted by this team. The tweet points out a perceived inconsistency between the team's public image of positivity, unity, and a desire to help, and their alleged actions behind closed doors, which are described as resorting to name-calling and labeling those they disagree with as scammers. The tweet describes a situation where the team deleted a dot .shiba name service initiative after initially supporting it, suggesting a profit-driven motive behind their actions. Similar behavior is alleged in the creation of a news website for Shiba Army. The tweet accuses the team of rushing to create their own initiatives, such as a Shiba blockchain and Shiba wallet, after others in the community had already introduced similar ideas. The team is alleged to claim these initiatives as official, the tweet anticipates the team's response to the criticism 
suggesting that they will spin the situation and accuse the burn tracker platform of fudding or spreading negativity. This implies a concern about the team's ability to control the narrative. The tweet explicitly states that the critique is not an attack on Shiba, but rather standing up for what is perceived as right on behalf of Shiba holders who have allegedly been lied to, misled, blocked without reason, and insulted by the team. Shaitoshi and his team have persuasive techniques to manipulate holders and even enforcers to make sure you abide by their rules and defend the vision from a made-up character. I never joined their Discord, but we've read what users are saying. If you don't defend Ryoshi or Shitoshi, then you are not considered a real Shiba army. A user showed us a before and after screenshots of Shiba Burn being in their ecosystem section where all of our posts were being displayed for months. The second, we made a post on X about Shiba not having official teams. They were offended and removed us from that section. Then started talking about Burns not being important. Just want to make everyone aware, even though they had our logo on that bot, that wasn't us. We have no issues with our posts being shared, but this was just to show how they reacted. The tweet alleges that Shaitoshi and the team use persuasive techniques to manipulate holders. The specific techniques are not detailed, but the implication is that there may be attempts to influence the community in a way that aligns with the team's agenda. There's a mention of enforcers who ensure that holders abide by the team's rules. This implies a level of control within the community, and the tweet suggests that not defending Ryoshi or Shaitoshi might result in being excluded from the label of a real Shiba army. The tweet points out that defending Ryoshi and Shitoshi is seemingly a criterion for being considered a genuine member of the Shibarmi. This could indicate a strong emphasis on loyalty to the project leaders within the community. The tweet describes a situation where the burn tracker platform was removed from an ecosystem section after making a post on a different platform about Shiba not having official teams. This suggests a sensitive reaction to criticism or dissenting opinions. The tweet clarifies that the logo used on a bot in the ecosystem section wasn't that of the burn tracker platform. The platform expresses a lack of issue with their posts being shared, but highlights this incident to illustrate the team's reaction. They've been making all the decisions in that ecosystem, setting themselves up for life, while claiming that it's what you, the Shiba Inu community, wanted and built. You will never have any control or voting power simply because it's rigged. They reach out to people, presenting themselves as the official team for Shiba and have misled exchanges, other crypto-related sites, and recently celebrities and non-profits about Shibarium. Surprisingly, many are okay with it as long as they can get any famous person to mention Shiba, despite knowing they've been misled. Meanwhile, others are heavily invested in the new tokens they've endorsed, so they echo anything this team says. Where's the honesty? Please be aware that partnering with Shitoshi's Shibarium is not a Shiba partnership. It's a partnership for Shibarium and Bone, if anything. Shibarium is not the official Shiba blockchain. Wow, that is such a lot of information to process. This was a Shiba Burn affiliate with their opinion on Shiba Inu ecosystem in general. But what do you think? Comment down below. I'd be super curious to read your opinion on that. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.